Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Not much action as he just ties up. Let's see some more head movement. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career, you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement into his head? The one thing that I had told him is something I had to tell myself, is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defensively, move your head, and work your way in. Slip a punch, and now all of a sudden you're closer. You take his height away. The other is to step up and get sort of enticed a taller fighter to come in and be short. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. Beautiful. Nice movement there. Just keep that up. Just keep moving. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. Left, right, left, right. You need to double up your punches all night. to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Side to side, move your head! Little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Parries that punch intended for the head. Nice work, nice work. Scores with the uppercut. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Abraham's commitment to the cause of being the aggressor really had him in front in that last round. Look at his opponent. Right down the middle. to see the combinations from <laughs> And round number three is underway. The next generation's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Abraham. Keep working about it. Well, he ties up there. 90 seconds to go here in this round. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Abraham. That hook was well off the mark. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Not able to connect with the uppercut. And this round comes to an end. Make it a dog fight with him, man. Close the gap and let your hands go. Please. Relax. Relax. You can do this. You know you got this. You need to cover up, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up! Okay, listen. Body and head. Body and head. Double up your punches. Body, then head. 
Abraham's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Very nice defensive guard there. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Punch! Come on, kid! Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Abraham. Halfway through round number four. Scores up top with a left. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Relax, relax. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Fans love this kind of fighting, Teddy. They absolutely love it. Both guys on the inside landing body shots. This is reminiscent of the old, old days back in the early 1900s when they had to tow a line where they would actually scratch a line in the canvas and both guys had to stand right in front of it. And whoever marked off it, whoever pushed off it, they were the losers. Stop waiting on it. All right? You're waiting on it. I, I, mean, I, I don't know what you're doing. Don't wait on this kid. Put your jam in his face and keep it there. Shorten your punches up. You came here to work. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Targeting that head with the combination punching. The next generation's right hand scores well. Good work with the combination, putting his punches together, and it's paying off. Yeah, it is paying off. You know, the first couple didn't get there, but he caught them on the back end. The next generation's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. Yeah, it is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. Needs to slip to the left. Abraham's putting on a display of accuracy, and the punch numbers tell that story. You got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any punches. Listen to me. Your best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. That'll keep him away. The start of the sixth round. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. He just missed that shot up top. Halfway through round six. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Pace yourself. Scored well up top. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. See how he targets that hook? Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. I want you to pick his jab. Throws a jab, carry it away, and you'll catch him, okay? You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch him. All right, listen. You gotta stand your ground. You gotta take it to him with some big shots. Without going over the top, go. right? I keep That's telling you to take it to the body first. Even a left hook. Right up the top would work. And that round is underway, and we are halfway through the scheduled slate. 
Unable to score with the hook. Watch the hook. You see him holding on at the halfway point of round seven. Comes right back at him with a left hand. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Good flush, straight left hand. The next generation's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. And round seven comes to an end. Cut him down, right? Cut the ring off and move him into the ropes. I will go. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Nice and relaxed. You're in control, all right? Seven rounds in the book so far. We look at Teddy's scorecard. Abraham's in good shape. He is leading on Teddy's scorecard, but a lot of action still to come. This is where things can change halfway through a fight. Yeah, this could be a danger zone. You know, the danger zones, a lot of people, whatever they do, they see them, you know, late in a fight or maybe very early in a fight. In the middle part, they think they're past that. You're not past that. You stop doing what you're doing, and this can turn on you very fast. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Abraham's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. And that's the end of round eight. He's been so productive tonight of making his opponent uncomfortable, getting right to the inside and doing wonderful work to that midsection. You make a good point there, Joe. What his opponent has not done is what has allowed him to be so productive on the inside. His opponent has not used his jab consistently at all. Come on, let's throw punches now. You've got power, use it. Come on, we're losing this fight. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Use the ring. Nice strike after catching one by Abraham. Relax, relax. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Not able to land the headshot, and he just holds on there. Move those feet. Do that again. A well placed left hand up top. Well, he missed that right. You gotta land a big punch now. No doubt about it. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Listen. Keep boxing just like that. You're gonna take this one. Start round number 10. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Up 
up. Cover up. Good flush shot upstairs. The next generation's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away, so as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Work the body, kid. Body shot. And round 10 comes to an end. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head. Knock him out, it's done. Nice work. He can't handle your speed as much. Take chances, baby. Let's take chances in this round coming up. You don't take a chance. You go home with your shit, right? Now listen, take a chance, take Start of round number 11. Abraham's up on Teddy's scorecard. Just six minutes to go in this fight. Teddy, I assume at this point, just take some good advice from your corner and secure this win. Yeah, you have the winning lottery ticket in your head. Don't throw it in the garbage. Boy, unable to get away from those punches. The next generation's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Halfway through this 11th round. Unable to score with the hook. Abraham's done by that shot. Stay with me. You gotta do more than this fight. Listen, he's done. You're ahead on points. You have this one, okay? Be smart in the last round. Throw. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. And they have reached the 12th and final round. Unload! Unload! More punches! He got hit, but he sends it right back. Lands the left after setting it up with a jab. And he ties up on the inside. Body shot! Body shot! Hook! Hook! Keep moving around the ring! Locks away that headshot. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks left that one. Left and right, left and right. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction with this, I want their picture up on a post office board. Most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Well, right now, what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. Abraham's work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.